Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today we're gonna to repair another Redivis RT95 radio, but this one isn't just region locked to the wrong region. There's a bunch of different stuff that's wrong with this one. Let's get into it. We have number five here. Let's see if everything is in this box like it's supposed to be. Oh, this one has been touched before. Power cord. Power cord still looks pretty clean. Maybe it's gotten one wrap around a terminal post. Nah, that still looks good. Microphone is out of the bag. Programming cable. Side bolts. Mounting bracket. The pads have been attached to the mounting bracket. Owner's manual. We actually do have both pieces of packing material, and this one's kind of a grade A minus. There's a little bit of dust there that rubs right off. The screen protector is missing. All right, this one might be a little bit more adventurous. Never fear, I was able to find the screen peel on the owner's manual. I'm gonna leave it on the owner's manual, but it's there. So this radio wasn't actually used all that much. Let's turn it on and see together. Oh, messy screen. I bet that's fixable though. Okay, let's run through the, the basic test. We've got our power meter there, so let's do one. Oh, it's in channel mode, hang on. Switch it over to, there we go, 146.52 is where I wanted it to be. They've changed all the buttons around. Power is low, 3.3. Power is mid, 12. Power is high, 20. Okay, let's do 446. Oh, this one's already been taken care of on frequency. And let's do power low. That's my other radio responding, so transmit works. That's four watts out on low, mid, 13.56. And I can hear my voice, so we're, we're doing two tests at once. Power high, 21, okay. So can we do GMRS stuff? Oh, yep, it's even got the step set up right in there. All right, 15 watts on GMRS, got it. Don't do GMRS on these things. You're not supposed to do that. Right, let's do a microphone check here. One, two, three. Oh, we've got the beep turned off. Let me turn the beep back on. Into the function menu, I think it's there. Beep is... Here we go, on again. Okay, good. And really I need that because I want to push every button and hear it push. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, star, zero, pound, A, oh, A is scan, it's scanning, B is volume, C is power, and D is squelch. And then do we have up and down? Yep, you can see the squelch choice moving because that's where I was. Let's do frequency. Frequency works. Let's switch bands. A, B, transmit on B, transmit on A. That all works. Okay, let's do four, four. Oops, we're back into channel mode. Okay, let's do four, four, six, zero, zero, zero. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oops, hold on. Oh, it's on the split. Why is it on split? So if you look, when I key down, it goes from 446 over to 4466. So it's got an offset. So let's figure out where the offset is. Direction, shift, SFT. No offset. Hey, there we go. Now we're transmitting onto our other radio. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, this is KM9G. All right, let's go the other direction. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Why is it blinking like that? Interesting. It's got tones on it. You know what? Let's see if there's a factory reset in here. Reset option, all. Let's do reset all. Reset MCU, please wait. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. Oh, it's probably doing a 300 baud upload from the body of the radio into the head of the radio. And there's that crazy funky, funky display. All right, let's do frequency again. 
All right, so it's still in the right unlock mode. Let's try transmitting. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, this is KM9G. All right, so I heard it come out of here. Let's go in the function menu. While we're in here, we'll change that from frequency over to name. And then we'll change this to handle. I can hear it change over to handle. I'm going to take this microphone here and hold it up to the microphone that I'm using to record. I guess just look at the radio. I don't know what to show you. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yep, that works. So now it's time to test programming. Let's we'll see if we can fix that front panel display problem. All right, there we go. Plug it in there. And let's plug in our cube over here. Okay, over to the desk. Let's get attached to our other machine over here. Good. Let's run the box software. Program read from radio. Yes, I want to continue. Ta-da! Read data completed. Okay, let's check the... I don't know where to find it, but I know it's in there. There we go, starting display. It just says the number three. Maybe that's part of the problem. So let's do R. Oh, it's gonna do it again. S, I, V, E, T, E. Read this. I don't know why they go backwards, but they do. Is there anything else in here? I don't know why that also, I don't know why that didn't uh, get factory reset when I did the factory reset. All of this stuff looks fine. Auto power on, interesting. Power on, reset, enable, no. I mean, it. yes, but sure, it's the way it was. Let's hit OK. Program a frequency. 146.52. This is going to be V, L, 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 A, C, dash. 146.52. Transmit power high. Okay. 446. Okay. And then let's write it to the radio. And we are writing to the radio, so let's see if the screen gets fixed. Let it reboot. Hey, we fixed the screen. Awesome. And right, let's switch back to a real microphone. And let's switch over to menu, menu mode, memory mode, and let's do up and down. Oh, I know why. All right, let's do up and down. There we go. All right, that works fine. Let's reboot it one more time to see that beautiful entry display, opening display. Read this. Perfect. Okay, she's all working. Yep, looks good to me. It only took five radios to find one that had a problem with it. And this one looks like it was a problem with the programming from the previous owner. It was opened up, the screen protector was pulled off, it did have some programming done to it. It was all over the map. And that's one of the weird things about ham radio. There is a lot of stuff that can go wrong in ham radio. You can go very far down the path and get yourself very wrapped around the axle of things not working and have no idea what you did if you're really new to ham radio. I have done this for a while and I'm not trying to brag, but it was easier for me just to do a factory reset and start over again and then fix the little one or two things that were wrong. We had shift direction offset. Something it was doing was making it pulsate on transmit, but the factory reset took care of that. Most of your modern radio today's are all software controlled, all software defined. The radio hardware itself does the radio thing, but the programming the the human interface side of things is all done by computer software and that can get messed up pretty easily which is actually kind of weird because in like a radio environment you guys know about rfi rfi can mess stuff up pretty easily so if you ever get stuck too bad do a factory reset when i was trying to transmit on 446 it did 446 600 i know that's an offset but if you have never seen that before and you key down to transmit and the person you're trying to talk to can't hear you, you can't hear yourself in your other radio, you didn't catch that on the display, you didn't know that you set the offset, 
how do you how do you fix something that you didn't know? It's like using a dictionary to figure out how to spell a word that you didn't know how to spell in the first place. How can you look up a word you don't know how to spell? How are you going to find that stuff? Anyway, these radios are for sale. I got a bunch of them as returns, as used. Something went wrong with them somewhere along the line. So far, it has just been that they haven't been unlocked for 70 centimeters, as best as I can tell. But this one, this one was special. And now it's even more special because it's fixed and you can have it. Send me an email, temporarilyoffline at gmail.com. Reach out to me via QRZ, which is going to redirect you to the same email. Message me over on the Toad's Discord, which is linked down in the description. However you want to get in touch with me, you do it. And I'll get this radio into your hands for a discount off of new. This one showed up to be used but not terribly used and now it is fixed and ready to be abused by you and if you like watching somebody repair radios that actually are just a little tiny bit touched a little tiny bit cursed then this is the channel for you hit that subscribe button right below the video here and you will see more repair videos i also repair more than just redivis radios and i do how to's and tutorials and all kinds of stuff like that if you're new here this is the channel for you and I'm glad you made it. There's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.